searched everywhere. I looked through hundreds of files, searched through my text messages. I even looked everywhere in my wardrobe, but I just couldn't find where I asked for your opinion. Hey y'all. Welcome to another edition of Dear Kadria Sophia, where I scour the internet and I look for situations where I can offer my unsolicited opinion and advice. All right, so I'm doing more scouring. Let's rely on Dear Abby and randomly Dear Annie and Am I the Asshole. So I found... Uh, I don't know. It says, this is what it says. It says, this is, I guess, what is this on? Dig? D-I-G-G? -I, I don't know. So it says, there are too many excellent advice columns to keep up with, so we're committed to bringing you links to the best advice column questions and answers every week. Here's a roundup of the most interesting, thought-provoking, and surprising questions that our favorite columnists and subreddits address in recent days. All right. So I chose the one, the question, should I exceed? Exceed? What does that mean? To my husband's demand for paternity test for any child we have. I don't know what a seed means. Hold on, let me Google it. Okay, I looked it up, and it's like, you know, concede. So, it I think it said the definition was to agree to a demand. So, now we already know it's in de demand. To my husband's demand for a paternity test for any child we have. Immediate answer for me? Absolutely. Especially if you have not had children already. I am of the position everybody should be DNA tested and chromosome tested. Okay? I feel like we in the day and age where the more uh, DNA testing that is done, the more chromosome testing that is done, then we'll be better adept at stating facts. Facts. You know? Like, it's just, <laughs> I think biological fact is definitely something we can benefit from when we take part of it, especially in the mass amounts. So, you know, it's just janky that we can't trust the United States government or the companies or the corporations, you know, with this information. But I still think. Everybody should be DNA tested and tested for chromosomes. Not even about abnormalities, but how do your chromosomes lay at birth? How do your chromosomes lay? Test everybody. So that's my off-rip response. Yep, go ahead and get it done. Especially if you don't have children, agree to that. Agree to getting you swabbed, him swabbed, the baby swabbed, his parents swabbed, your parents swabbed. Swab everybody. Just start swabbing away. Right? All right, here we go. My husband and I are trying for a baby. We've had many talks about parenthood and are mostly on the same page. Theoretically, yes, theoretically on your own page and yes, theoretically on each other's page most of the time. But until you've actually done something, it's all theoretical. One part leaves me cold. He says he needs paternity tests for all his children. Every aspect of our relationship is solid and wonderful, except this. We've never cheated on each other, but when he tells me he wants to test, I feel like he doesn't trust me. He says that's not the case. It's not the case. It's not the case. He says it's not fair. That a mother knows the baby is hers. What are you talking about fair? It's not, you're right, it's not fair. Next, <laughs> you're not a child, right? It's not fair that the mother gets to know the baby is hers while the father can never be 100% sure. Well, DNA tests aren't 100% sure either, sir. Did you know that? 
So you still can't be 100% sure. Get your, get some therapy, sir. This is toxic masculinity at its finest. <laughs> at its most ridiculous, really. It's not fair. It's not fair. So? I'm completely in love with my husband and want to have a child with him, but this is ruining the entire experience for us. Well, I mean, you seem... I don't know what you want, ma'am. I mean, he's not even telling you it's a matter of cheating. It's a matter of his pride. He's already telling you that. So I'm pretty sure... <laughs> pretty sure there are some concessions you've made about this man's pride. All right? What you gonna do? Do you even hear yourself? I am having a hard time having the maintaining the desire to have children with the man that I'm in complete I'm completely in love with and he also happens to be my husband through our union and public ceremony most likely I'm having difficulty having a his his child cuz he wants to make sure it's his child He wants me to have his child, and he wants confirmation it's his child. Well, I mean, we live in 2021. I mean, yeah. what I love is it's not even a matter of... Uh, <laughs> You're not even pregnant yet, B. And you think he's accusing you. <laughs> You're not even pregnant yet, my G. And you feel like he's accusing you of getting pregnant by somebody else? With his ridiculous request, his ridiculous paternity test request makes you feel like he believes that you are probably currently cheating on him. And so the baby that you all are having together, you are, you all are, remember, remember when she said we're trying for a baby? The baby y'all are trying for, he, he already feels like it might not be his. Is that what you're saying? Are you saying that? Because he's saying that he's salty, that he's a man. And doesn't get to create a body inside of him. And so thusly, that body created inside of him, you know, he automatically knows it's his, it's his, the body that he created from his literal cells. He, he would know that it's his. So he's salty that that's not the case. He's been big up in these sperms, these, you know, these race runner sperms, the Olympic sperms, you know, his, Hot his sperms, you know what I'm saying? He been big up in that, but that don't really give him the ability to tell him if his sperms took, you know what I mean? You might have been like a cat in these streets, and you may have had some other sperm in you, and that sperm took. That's what he's saying. He don't know. He don't know. He don't know. He don't know. What you should be grateful for is that he's not a card-carrying Christian where if he's accusing you of sleeping you know, with someone else, you know, there's a a, a ritual led by God that will tell you if your wife is uh, sleeping with or having inter sexual intercourse with another man and uh, her womb will like, you know, expel the contents of the womb if it's not your baby, right? If it's not your baby, sir, then... Um, you can do this ritual that God, you know, there's a priest involved and there's God, you have to call on God. And if it's not your baby, then the contents of the womb is expelled. But if it is your baby, uh, or if she hasn't cheated on you, then you all will be able to be fruitful and multiply that way. So the good news is he's not, he's not doing that ritual. He's, uh, probably in 2021, maybe going to Take some snot from the baby or swab a cheek. I don't know. I think they just swab the inside of the cheek. The baby will probably be the least inconvenience that he could be for any test taking. Really. that If you have that baby at the hospital, that baby's going to go through a lot more than cheek swabbing. So, this is just ridiculous. I'm, it's making it difficult. All right. Uh, complete, I'm completely in love with my husband and want to have a child with him, but this is ruining the entire experience for us. I'm, oh, I am pregnant. Oh, this bit. I'm pregnant, and I haven't told him yet. This is the shit that he don't like. <laughs> That's the shit he don't like. Bang, bang. That's the sh This is exactly the shit that he's salty about, man. That you can be pregnant and you know. You know. Because it's happening to you. But...
He he won't know until you tell him. He won't know until you tell him. So that's the same situation going on, you know, with you, you know, giving. First of all, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this, ma'am, out my out my mouth. Let's go back up. But when he tells me he wants to test, I feel like he doesn't trust me. Ma'am. Ma'am. I'm going to say this in plain English. You withholding this extremely vital information from your husband. You, There's no way that, that in this egotistical mind of your husband that it would set right with him. That you took the test not even in front of him, my G. Like he wasn't even in the bathroom when you peeing on sticks, okay? He's, he's, I don't know, being a man somewhere. I don't know, building a log cabin. I don't know. But the fact that he wasn't in that room with you, learning at the same exact time that you learned about the pregnancy of his, of his, his alleged baby, his alleged baby, right? You holding this information from him? I can't even imagine how that's going to turn out well for you, ma'am. I can't even imagine. All right. And he doesn't know yet. I don't know. I know he would be ecstatic and would love to know. But I feel none of this really matters until the paternity. Oh, no. And then he can finally love our child with proof it's his. Am I overreacting? Should I just let him have the paternity test? First of all, man. Listen. This is the thing about playing whole games with men. You know who you fucked. So you know. You know it's your husband's kid. Now, if it's not your husband's kid, then this whole letter is some bullshit. But if you know it's his kid, then don't you disillusion yourself because he's disillusioned with the anatomical components of his anatomy, his biological incapability. Don't you get hemmed up in his foolishness because it, it has nothing to do with you, okay? So are you overreacting? It seems like it. It seems it seems like it, and it seems like you're over. Over. I don't even. I don't even like overreacting because it doesn't seem like you're overreacting. It seems like overreacting seems to be the wrong word. Overreacting implies that you are. The situation is is your laser sharp focus on the actual situation, and you're overreacting to that situation. It does not seem like that's what you're doing. It seems like he done told you that he's a fucking. Uh, he feels like, you know, he'd be since he's an ex, why he's really missing that other part that fell off and, and not be ex, ex, now he ex, why he feels a way about that. Okay. He might be ex, ex, he might be ex, why, why with this, with this kind of mentality. He might be ex, why, why, and he's really missing, you know, both, all of them not being exes. Okay. He, they, it, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like it has nothing to do with you uh, personally at all. It sounds like he refers to, to women as females. Okay? And he's involved with father rights. That's what it sounds like, man. And so you'll be happy to know that this is the perfect person for you to have a long-standing relationship with where it never puts you in a position of uh, you versus him and the kids. Because he going to be a father to them kids. He, cause he, I mean, he knows. I don't see how you could any... I don't see why anyone would say no to the paternity test of a man they know is the father. Okay, yeah. And then put your husband on child support since he want to... Since he wants... Let me see, <laughs> since he want to be totally involved, he can get involved in all the aspects. Get a paternity test and then put him on child support. You can put your husband on child support. You don't, even, you don't have to be divorced. You don't have to be going through divorce. You, he, he can literally just be. And for every child you have, put him in child support. Okay? That just seals. It makes things more illegal. Seals all the deals. There's no confusion or anything. And that's what he's looking for. So seal the deals for him. Do the paternity test. They can do it while you're pregnant. Much success to us all.